That's uh, me all in. Right, well, shall we just play this hand blind then, gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about, Gringuito? Which of you has children? Ah, si. Sí. Hmm? Well, certainly you must have someone, Billy. I got my Jenny, and she's strong and fast, and she's right clean, too. Yeah. She's a, she's a damn fine filly. And I don't care what anybody says. Right. Billy has his... Equine equipment. <laughs> what you thinking, Arnold? else? Nothing. It's... Right, let's let's play another round, eh? Let's play another yeah. round. Yeah. Perhaps a bottle of your uh, <laughs> finest whiskey. Uh, sure thing, Mr. Sharp. So I'm looking for a man I come to believe has been living around this territory. There's plenty of men around here. If you'd care to be more specific, then we might be able to assist you in finding this man you pursue. And then you won't have to tarry around in this town for too long. You could just be a... Uh, what did you Yang say? Moseying on? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Y'all mind if I join your game here, friends? Much obliged. You all know me, right? You know that I'm a man 
of the people. Our Annie's only a dollar. <laughs> yes. Of course it is. So any of you all heard about that new mining company in East County? What's it called? The Nil. The Nil. Kind of a funny name for a mine, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, y'all must have heard about it, I guess. No, Senor Sharp, I don't think so. Maybe we had. Is that right, Ace? What exactly have you heard? Scuttlebutt. And you know what line of work they've been recruiting for? Well, it ain't no Sunday picnic under the apple tree, I can tell you that. So friends, <clears throat> any of you seen any of them mining recruiters skulking around these parts lately? Yeah, well, I reckon them sons of bitches don't show themselves too readily now, do they? Yeah, well, it wouldn't have been the first time. No. No, my friend. Mm. This time is different. I'm talking about large numbers here. In fact, they uh, recruited about a dozen out of Odessa not but three months ago. Any idea why they call it the nil? Huh? You'll be going 45 feet down a hole and back up again 400 times a day. Swinging your sledgehammers next to them garboons doing just the same thing. Hotter than a whorehouse on nickel night. Sucking in them toxic fumes till you're half dead. And when you do die, they simply park your carcass in a pine box and plant you in the bone orchard. Guess that's why them recruiting fellas are working around the clock. Slave labor. So we gonna play some cards here or what, friends? Boy, I gotta tell you, y'all looking mighty comfortable here to me. Bending your elbows every night, getting fat like ticks on a dying hound dog. Yeah, y'all is like a regular pack of pigs sitting in high shit up here, ain't you? <laughs> well, I wonder what you'd look like chained up deep in the bowels of a mine shaft. Probably not so, uh, Sassy. Yeah. Not quite so sassy then. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess y'all's the lucky ones. Seeing as how there ain't none of them recruiting fellas around here, right? With all the respect in your charp. If any of us have to go down them mines, I don't think it can be me. You be looking for someone who's a top notch. Oh, yes. 
¿Y por qué no él? Billy. He no gonna lose nothing. Come on, Billy boy. You know me, Laurita. She only six. Tell me, Billy boy, how can you be sure that someone won't come in here someday and put a pick in your hands for the rest of your goddamn life? You're a stout fella. You might be fit for that kind of work, don't you think? You know why I'm here, big boy. He ain't taking me down one of them mines of yours. You're gonna have to drag my dead body out of this saloon if you try so. And that ain't gonna be easy to do, I can tell you. That I sure about. You could just go to hell, Kelvin. You got grit, boy. And I can appreciate that. But who said I was the one to come here to take you to them mines, huh? I was just having a bit of fun with you. Okay. I was just teasing is all. Come on now, fellas. I didn't come here to ruffle your feathers. And I sure as hell didn't think it would come to this. <laughs> Y'all is just a little bit too tense about this subject now, ain't you? Now why don't you stop fucking around and sit your asses back down. Come on now, big boy. Put that shooter down. You're not the man I come looking for. That's it. Now, go on with you. Senor Charb, please, for favor. Up, bean eater. Now, how long has this fucking limey been hanging around these parts, huh? Let me guess. About three months? <laughs> Tell you what, friends. Let's go ahead and finish up this here game, huh? Mr. Pierce? Come on there, Pops. Let's get this done. You're next, brave boy. Do you honestly think that you and your Deputies can just ride here all the way from Texas, treading your filthy boots up and down Papa Bill's saloon, talking <laughs> a lot of bollocks about what? <laughs> rumored abductions and 
Mines in the East County. <laughs> Threaten these men. <laughs> and then after all of that, try and gain their confidence by sticking your fancy pistol in their face. <laughs> and what then shoot me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, boy. Well, go ahead and shoot me if you like, if you've got the brush. <laughs> Don't push me, Very boy. good. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Sharp, as you said before, let's get this done. Because neither me nor any of these men are going with you to those silver mines of which you speak. Not now. Not any time soon. So why don't you and your goons just put your guns back in your holsters and leave this town for good? Silver mines. Carlos? Yeah. <coughs> Please, amigo, shit. She's gonna be okay. <coughs> Call me this muerto. See, we gotta celebrate that, right? Look at me, you're gonna be okay. Yeah, this really fucks up my plans, doesn't it? As you can imagine, I was never gonna take Bill with me. He's far too old for that kind of hard labor. Only lasted a month. As for this little uh, Mexican jumping bait, well, you saw for yourself. Simply can't handle that kind of stressful situation. Which leaves me with you. Now, frankly, I quite like you. But now, you know what the saddest thing about all of this is? That poor Billy will just have to take your place. and his men, the, the, the poker game. Well, things went sour, then the shootout. You're and... dead. Yes. Yes, I'm rather lucky, I suppose, barely a scratch on me. Look, I emptied my gun. <laughs> now listen to me, baby boy. We've got to go and get the sheriff now. Do you understand? Calvin could have more of his men coming for us as we speak. We've got to move. You ain't taking me down none of them fucking mines of yours.
Maybe I shouldn't believe the things they tell me. I've been out on bed. To the bottom and said, hey, help me, but I don't think that you would care about anything I do share. Napoleon sits inside your Tells you that the sky is blue, but I don't think that you would care about anything he had to share. When you talk me down, I go.